Hi guys, Tech James here. In this video, I will show you how to install the CM File Manager on your PSP or PSP Go. So this is actually one of the newest PSP homebrews to be released. It was made, I think, in about September 2018, and it's had updates right up until November. It's basically like a file browser, but it's kind of like got like an Android theme on it, so it is pretty cool. So if you guys want to install it, you want to scroll over to USB connection, press X, connect your PSP to your PC, and I will show you guys what to do next. Over on your computer, the link to the CM file manager will be in the description of this video. And this is actually quite a new homebrew for the PSP. So it was released in September 2018. Obviously the PSP is getting on a bit, so um, not many people are making homebrews for it anymore. But if you guys want to install this, the download link will be at the bottom of the page. So if you just click on that, it's going to bring you to their GitHub and it looks like it was updated actually in November. So if you guys want to get version 1.0.1, .1, just click on the zip file and it will begin downloading. So it says all of the new things um, which are here and it actually looks like there's some interesting stuff. It also tells you all the features back on the PSX Place website. Um, as you can see, it can move files. It's basically like the Sanogen mod, um, but just an updated version of it. It was actually made by the same guy um, that even made the Sanogen mod. Okay, so once it has finished downloading, go to your downloads folder, find the zip file, right click it and then select extract here. It's then just going to extract it for you. There is a readme file, you can double click on that. It's pretty simple. And when you go into the PSP folder, the game folder, and here is the file we want to copy across to our PSP's game folder. So just drag and drop it across when your PSP is connected. And yeah, that is literally it. You can find it on here. It will have all the files in and everything like that. So that is literally it for the PC. We can now go back onto our PSP and I will show you guys what to do next. Okay, so back over on your PSP, we're just going to find the CM file manager. Now you must have custom firmware installed to use this. So let's just find it on our memory stick. And here it is. So all we want to do is just press X and it will start up. So as you can see, it really does look like Android. We've got some options on here. We've got ISO. This is where our ISO games would be. As you can see, here's my Yu-Gi-Oh game. Now we can actually copy stuff, move stuff, delete stuff. It's actually pretty cool. Um, this is quite nice if you don't want to connect it to your um, PC and you can just do it through the app. Um, so let's say I wanted to, I'm pretty sure I can rename this as well if I press triangle on it. If you go to more, you can go to rename. So this is a Yu-Gi-Oh game, so maybe I'll just call it, I'll take PSY out the front and just call it YGI3, oops, I'll just call it free, whatever, I'm just going to press start, just so you guys get the idea, and there you go, that's how you rename your ISOs. So we've got MP root, we've got music, we still have your music in, pictures, I'm pretty sure you can view pictures on here, like the PS Classic wallpaper, you can actually open stuff, which is also pretty cool, I'm not quite sure what this one is. PSP theme um, we've got some other stuff on here so we've got obviously PSP and this is where your game folder would be with all your files in you can delete stuff you can move stuff um, let's just keep them scrolling down obviously we've got our SE plugin system volume information as well you can also s select multiple stuff by pressing square um, so if you want to delete multiple files or anything like that if you press select you can enable this tab right here where you can select the MSO you can also select flash 0 and flash 1 now be careful in these because I wouldn't recommend uh, messing with stuff in here you can easily kind of like mess up your PSP by breaking stuff but as you can see we can actually access the VHS files which is actually pretty interesting and we've also got flash 1 on here as well so yeah um, be very careful with flash 1 and flash 0 I wouldn't really recommend um, you know messing with these types of things as you can see, it's pretty much the same. We've got some registry stuff in here. And also, if you press start, um, there's some different options in here. You can enable a dark theme, which also looks nice, and auto USB mount. What this does is when you plug it into your PC, it will just automatically connect. As you can see, we've got the time up here, battery percentage, and also the Wi-Fi. So let's just press circle to go back. And let's just reselect our um, normal just memory card. We don't want to mess anything up.
So yeah, I quite like it. Very simple, but I can see it will have some uses. It's pretty much like that other um, PSP file manager. I can't exactly remember what it was called, but it's basically an updated version of that, and it's really nice. Um, also, it's pretty much an updated version of this Sanogen mod on your PSP. So yeah, that is pretty much it for this video. So if you guys enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one.